Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano is a 1918 uh, Packard. Uh, so this is a World War I era piano that we've, that we've completely refurbished. This is a very thorough, thorough uh, procedure that we, that we put these pianos through. We've done this for um, a long, long time and the work that we do is really, really nice. And so what all of that work does is it not only makes the piano look more beautiful, and it does, I'll talk about that in a second, but it also makes it play as close to we can possibly get it to play like it did originally in 1918, which is, I think, really close. It's tuned, it, uh, it, it essentially um, makes the piano last for, for another um, several decades. Whether or not it's going to last, it's, it's 100 years old, almost, next year will be 100 years old, whether it's going to last another 99 or 100 years, I doubt that, but um, but 30 or 40 or 50? Absolutely. There's, there's no question about that. Okay, so everything that, that is entailed, um, or maybe I should mention this real quick. This piano was originally a player, um, but, uh, but that, that player has long since ceased to function, so we've just taken all of the, um, all of the player stuff out of it. Um, and, uh, but as a, as a piano, it's still a fantastic instrument. Okay, so cosmetically, it's completely refinished. A lot of times on, on these pianos from this era, what you'll see, uh, you know, here we are now in, in the 2000s, 100 years later, these pianos are just trashed. They've been, they've been moved countless times and they've been in through countless numbers of families that have just cosmetically trashed them. So. Again, from a, the wood, the cabinetry, and the, um, the pedals, let's get a shot of the pedals down there. Everything is just in perfect condition. Cosmetically, it's perfect. The keys, um, this is actually quite uncommon. These are original ivory. Usually, the pianos that we restore in the shop, um, the ivory just has to go. It's too far gone. Um, but uh, we were able to clean these ivories up. Ivory actually works pretty similar to wood. Um, there are some differences, but it's similar in that you can kind of sand things down and clean it up and, and buff it to this, to this high shine. So that's what we've done on this piano. So this ivory is original to the 1918 and it's in perfect condition. Well, I wouldn't say perfect condition. I would say A minus condition probably after, after what we've done on it. Um, and then of course the other little finishing touches, the hinges, we've put new knobs on it, those kinds of things, just to, just to kind of generally, generally beautify the piano, new, new rubber bumpers, those kinds of things. Okay, so that's the cosmetics. Let's talk about what we've done on the inside. <clears throat> okay, so first thing we do is we do an immaculate cleaning. And this is not a quick uh, take the piano outside and run the leaf blower over it to get the dust out because all these pianos are absolutely filthy on the inside. This is a um, two, sometimes three day process where we take everything out. We take the action out. We take all the keys out. Um, we take the, uh, all of the trap work, which is everything down, down beneath having to do with the pedals. We take all of that out and thoroughly, painstakingly go through like a whole box of Q-tips and clean everything and, and sand all of the grime off and get it to look as beautiful as you see here. Then, um, what we do is, on this piano, in a, in a refurbishing, what, we, what we've done is we've reshaped the hammers. When the hammers are uh, 100 years old, they just get indented and they no longer have the proper um, rounded shape, but are, are flattened and grooved. And so, so these hammers have been reshaped. Um, we've replaced all of the bridle straps, which is what these are. Those are uh, common um, areas of, uh, of getting destroyed after 100 years. Then the dampers. I wasn't happy with how the dampers were functioning. Here are the dampers right here against the strings and you can see that from, from this top, top damper down to, uh, what is that, this one right here, D, uh, D3, the dampers were not quite up to the standard uh, my, where I expect them to be functioning. So we've replaced those dampers. 
Then we go through, tighten everything up, lubricate everything, which never, ever, ever happens on these pianos in just very rare instances. So we've taken care of all of that. And then we do a regulation. So regulation is everything from leveling the keys to ensuring that the distance you can depress the key is correct, the distance from the hammers to the strings, ensuring that's correct, the, the location of the hammer when the damper starts to pull away, the location of these here, uh, these parts here called the back checks, ensuring that that's correct, what's called the let off, which is the distance that the hammer, when it comes close to the string, it lets off or pulls away from the, from the string. That's supposed to be an eighth of an inch. And I would assume that if you're watching this video, you're looking at pianos. So that's a quick way for you to, if you're going out and looking at various pianos, you can ensure that a piano is in proper regulation. Of all of those regulation steps, and there are actually a few more that I haven't mentioned, but the let off is probably the one that, uh, that, um, that anyone really can go out and see, okay, is this piano properly regulated? And not that, not that that's the only thing, but that's a good indication of the state of the rest of the regulation of the piano. So what you can do is you can slowly, slowly, slowly depress the key and watch the hammer. If it goes to an eighth of an inch of the string and pulls away just like that, and the key moves just a little bit more as the hammer is actually on its way backwards, that is an indication of right of proper regulation or at least that gives you a good hint that things are properly regulated as this piano is and by the way the amount of time I said at the beginning of this video that this piano is going to last like 40 or 50 years or whatever um, the amount of time that a, a good regulation lasts it really good um, where it's going to give exact, correct regulation is probably, I don't know, 10 years, 20 years, something like that, where it's going to be really, really good. Beyond that, it should still function relatively close. And uh, I, would, I would give that another 10 or 20 years beyond that, where it's going to be relatively, where, where it's going to be relatively close. Beyond that, it's, it'll still function, what I see on pianos that are 40 years old or 50 years old, the, the the action will still function if it hasn't been regulated, but it's it's really kind of outside of proper bounds where where I would say yeah it really needs to be regulated to to get the touch um, to up to the standard where you can play with more nuance and and uh, um, repetition. So uh, there's a tour of this refurbished. Piano. Now the only thing left is to hear it. While I'm putting this back on, I'll, I'll just mention the uh, the time that uh, just just to kind of emphasize what I was what I was talking about a minute ago. That the, this is not a not a quick process like with the um, like with the cleaning. The cleaning alone taking two, sometimes even three days. Similar to the rest of this, this is not a quick, um, you know, day or two that we're doing all of this other stuff. The the refinishing takes quite a while. All of the regulation takes quite a while. Um, so this is a major investment in this piano that uh, that that enables it to function for a long, long time. I've been working on pianos now for 22 years, and I I feel quite confident that. Uh, based on having worked on about 20,000 pianos in that in that time that I know quite well that will enable the piano not only to have correct touch and tone but uh, but will also <laughs> enable the piano to endure for as I've been emphasizing in this video a long 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 time let's hear it
person that's putting on this one just sounds really nice. I can control it, has great nuance, great feel, and, uh, and, and great endurance. Uh, so fantastic piano, couldn't be, couldn't be happier with, with how it turned out. Come check it out for yourself, 1497 South State Street in Orem or 801-701-0113. Uh, Thanks for watching.